Now we've already said that the word calculus comes from the Latin word for pebble, and pebbles were used for counting in our early times. But the word actually has a much broader meaning. The word could mean could refer to any technique or procedure or method. For example, there's a procedure for calculating square roots. And most people don't know that procedure anymore because we typically do square roots on the calculator. But there's a known method for calculating, calculating square roots. And that procedure or that method could be referred to as a calculus. And the word calculus obviously usually has a mathematical meaning, but it can be broader than that even. There's a, um, a set of ideas known as the relational calculus, which was developed in the 1970s, and it deals with the relational database. If you've done any work with computers, you know that uh, how database tables are made to relate to each other in certain ways, and the, the techniques there can be referred to as a calculus, and specifically a relational calculus. Well, the word calculus usually re refers specifically to the calculus developed by Newton and Leibniz. Out of all the different calculi ever developed, this one is by far the most important. So it warrants the use of the term the calculus. So sometimes if, if you're reading a book or, or reading an article or listening to a lecture and someone uses the, the phrase that way, the calculus, they're typically referring to the calculus or the, the techniques and procedures developed by Newton and Leibniz, the calculus that we'll be studying in this course. This calculus is so much more important than all the others that it gets the, the, the phraseology, the calculus. It's kind of like the, the term, the, the exponential function. You've, you've obviously dealt with exponential functions before. An exponential function is one in which the variable is in the exponent. So y equals uh, 2 to the x would be an exponential function, or y equals uh, 1 half to the power of x, or y equals 0.3 to the power of 5x. All of these are exponential functions because the variable shows up there in the exponent. But one of these functions y equals e to the x is so important that it warrants the use of the term the exponential function. And when someone refers to the exponential function, they mean this one. In the same way, when someone refers to the calculus, they mean the calculus developed by Newton and Leibniz that deals with uh, infinite numbers of infinitely small things and that deals with slopes of line segments that are infinitely short and, and techniques and concepts that we'll, we will be studying in this course the calculus. Calculus is perhaps the most hi historically significant and the most practical of any mathematics ever discovered and it is certainly one of the greatest accomplishments of the human intellect in all of history. And I hope that in this course you'll come not only to understand some of these ideas but, but also come to see and appreciate their significance and their beauty as well as their historical relevance.